You can create some cool effects by using a combination of Final Cut Pro and Apple Motion. To create this effect, edit a single clip to the timeline. Park at the area where you want things to freeze, and then use the keyboard shortcut Shift plus N to create a freeze frame in the viewer window. Press the Insert button to splice the freeze frame into the timeline. Then duplicate the freeze frame above itself by holding down the Option plus Shift keys. Right click on the top freeze frame and choose Send to Motion Project from the contextual menu. Save the new file and wait for Motion to open. After the Motion program opens, use the keyboard shortcut Command equals to zoom in a bit. Hold down the space bar to reposition the frame. Click on the Bezier tool at the top of the toolbar. Then go ahead and trace around your object. Once that's done, use the keyboard shortcut Command 4 to bring forward the Layers tab. Drag the Bezier layer into the bottom most layer. Then navigate to the File menu and choose Save. Press Command H to return to Final Cut Pro. Place the playhead indicator over the frozen area in the timeline. Then trim back the topmost layer just a bit. Double click on it to load it into the viewer window. Move over to the canvas window and turn on Image plus Wireframe mode. Go ahead and reposition your cutout. The last step is to add a flash frame transition to your edit points. And finally, I'll add a couple of camera flash sound effects that line up with my flash frames. Okay, that's it. Check it out. For other great tips like this, or to enroll in a Final Cut Pro training course, visit GeniusDV.com.